I don't know if you have encountered this situation when using C for D-line segments. For example, a rectangular line segment needs to be chamfered, all points are affected, and the shape is the same. If you need to control the chamfering of certain points, you need to manually. If you need to program the chamfer line segment that can be changed at any time, this method will not work. In this case, you need to use the node to create a custom line segment chamfer. I'm not an expert in the field of nodes. I hope those who have questions in this area can be enlightened. This is a chamfer node project I simply created. I still have some questions about point selection. C4D 2025.3 version of the Object Object Panel Search Group. Double click the Object Group object to jump to open the node panel. Find the rectangular spline in the spline group and pull it to the node group. Rectangle orange output port pulls out cable to op node port. Modify the space orientation of the rectangle to XZ. Select the object group object and enable the point index display in the 3D operation view. The 3D view can see information about each point on the rectangle. Search for spline chamfer in the resource browser panel. Find and drag onto the line between two nodes in the node view. Because I forgot it when recording, I connected the port manually. Adjust the distance of chamfer nodes. Can switch between different type modes. Now all points are uniformly affected and a point needs to be specified. Search Select Node. You need to connect the input and output ports as well. Switch the type to point and enter the affected index number. The number of points selected can be single or multiple. It can also be a continuous range of numbers. Select the point of the radius parameter of the chamfer node of the line segment and press Control. Drag and drop to the interface bar on the left to add parameter input. Hold down the left mouse button, select the radius name, and drag it to the node graph to release it. Edit the port and modify the mapping range value of the parameter. At this point, you have completed the most basic parametric chamfer spline. Make a copy of the node created earlier. The same spline chamfer parameter control is used for the copied spline and a separate one needs to be created. Double click the name to modify and rename it. Now the chamfering parameters of the two points are controlled respectively. Turn off viewpoint index display. Press and hold the op with the left mouse button and finally release it to create a new node called op. Simple large group management of nodes. Rename and modify the color of the background. Finally extrude the spline. The Z of the default extruded axis needs to be modified to the Y axis. Set chamfer parameters. Output chamfer parameters for external control. Rename for quick identification. Pull out the input port for the simplicity of the node. Group nodes and change names. The same goes for rectangular parameters. Connect the input to an external control. Parameters are renamed. Reorganize the node group and modify the background color. 
Select parameters on object group objects to test. Add a toggle node. Type switch to polygonal object. Connect the rectangle and extrude nodes to ports 1, 2, respectively. Last connection, add a router finishing cable. Select switch node, select index. After the above operation, a simple programmatic operation of point chamfering was created. This is my first attempt at node recording instructional video. There are still many shortcomings. My Patreon website also has a lot of interesting C4D knowledge sharing. Thanks for watching. See you next time.